We're gonna cover when athletes should start using supplementation to help their sports performance, and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dane Miller from GarageStrength.com. If this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in becoming a better athlete, you wanna become stronger, you wanna be more explosive, you wanna be more coordinated, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so we can help you become a champion. So one of the most consistent problems that athletes face is the issue of when to start supplementation. And I like to think about it as the longer you hold off on supplementation, the more results you'll see when you actually start to utilize supplements. Now, I think it's important to acknowledge right off the bat that when we're talking about supplementation, I'm gonna be referencing typically protein, so whey protein, casein protein, it could be beef protein, it could be vegetable protein, I'm talking about creatine, talking about caffeine, endurance aids, something along the lines of beta alanine, and then joint work. So something like collagen, vitamin C, even to a point can help with joints, especially when they're utilized together. I'm not really talking about a, a multivitamin, a morning essential pill that's gonna help you with getting your vitamin A, your vitamin D, you know, maybe some more of your vitamin C, some, some antioxidants, stuff like that, your B vitamins. I'm not specifically talking about those types of supplements. I'm really gonna be talking about these here because I believe that these typically tend to be the first supplements that people should be taking when they're starting to train quite a bit. And so a lot of athletes and a lot of parents will sit there and they might train for two, three, four weeks and they say, hey Dane, you know, what can I take to really help me with my gains? What can I take to really help me become a better athlete? What can I take to blow up my bench or my squat, whatever it might be? I believe it's important to ask yourself a few key questions. And that first key question, how long have you been training? So a lot of people, a lot of athletes, and, and let's just say that you're 18 years old, you just started training. In all reality, you're gonna blow up for the next six to 12 weeks. You're gonna make a lot of neurological adaptations. You're gonna make a lot of muscular adaptations. You're also gonna make a lot of cognitive adaptations where you start to understand movements. You start to understand stress. You start to understand discomfort. You start to push yourselves a little bit more effectively. And that's a key concept here, is that a lot of people might wanna take a different type of protein or creatine, whatever it might be, right away and they really don't even know how to handle stress. They don't know how to feel tension. They don't know how to feel discomfort. And those are key factors to getting stimulation, to adapting to that stress. So we've gotta look at it from, hey, you might wanna go a year or two years of really figuring out your body, figuring out your mindset, figuring out your approach to training before you want to take a supplement because in all reality, it might be six to 12 months before you really figure out how to grind. And when you figure out how to grind, that's when it starts to become more effective to utilize supplementation. That leads us into our next question is, what's your nutrition like? If you just got into this, let's say you're in middle school, you're in seventh grade, you're in eighth grade. Most seventh and eighth grade kids eat very, very poorly. So the first thing that you should be doing is cleaning up your nutrition. And that goes back to how long have you been training? A lot of kids, once they start to train for six months to a year, they start to just get interested in those other physical components. They start to realize that when they eat specific foods, they're not as sore. They start to realize when they're more hydrated going into training, they lift a little bit better. And that's a key aspect here is that when we start to pair these two questions together, a lot of newbies, a lot of novice lifters start to take an interest in their nutrition. So if you're focused on improving your nutrition for six to 12 months, and now that takes you to that year and a half point of, of training and of actually doing resistance-based training, now it might make sense for you to start to use various supplements. But I would recommend really focus on your nutrition. If you need help with your nutrition, we've got a high performance nutrition program. You can click on the link down below. But that leads us into our next question then as well. If we're training, okay, we've got to think about if I'm an athlete, I'm in middle school, what am I training for? A lot of kids come to us that, that train, they're training for wrestling, they're training for football. They might even be training for a sport like soccer that actually has a pretty high rate of concussions. So if you're playing contact sports like lacrosse, like wrestling, like football, field hockey to a point, all of these different sports, I'm gonna start to recommend that you actually use creatine no matter what. If you're in middle school, and you're playing football, creatine can help absorb a hit. If you can react quicker when you get hit by an opponent, 
you can protect your brain. You also are going to retain a little bit more water. That water can also protect your brain from a concussion. On top of that, there's a lot of science that creatine can actually help with learning skills. It can actually help with recovery from concussions. So now we can start to play the game of, okay, if I'm playing a contact sport like wrestling or football, and there's a lot of skill involved in these sports, and if I'm better at those skills, I'm going to compete better, and I'm theoretically going to be safer, I should probably be using creatine. And that's one of those things too. A lot of parents will be like, creatine, what? You want my kid to take an anabolic steroid? No, creatine is an amino acid. It is not banned by the NCAA. It's not banned by USADA. It's not banned by WADA. It's an amino acid. It is one of the safest supplements that you could take on the planet. There's so much research out there that backs me up. You can go to PubMed. You can look up Scott Forbes. You can look up Darren Kandel. You can look up Darren Willoughby. All of Richard Kreider. These are all people who do a ton of research on creatine. Go look for them. Look for the research. It's perfectly safe. And if you're gonna let your kid do a contact sport before they've even hit puberty, they better be taking creatine because that's gonna help protect their brain. That's key. Finally, if you've got cognition issues, okay, you've got a kid who's got a little bit of ADD, creatine helps. You know, you get uh, migraine issues, creatine helps. So now we can start to see the key factors here are, these are sort of those outlier questions, right? These are those two outlet contact sports. You got cognitive problems. Maybe you, maybe you have problems with memory. You need L-theanine can help you with that. L-theanine goes a long way with helping you retain skills. But also now we start to factor in, all right, well, we're gonna be training for a year and we're, tr we're doing a contact sport. My, my nutrition's been focused. Well, then you should start to take some supplements. And what I'm gonna recommend also is where are you sourcing your supplements from? Because that's another key concept is that when we start to utilize supplements, the cleaner they are, the safer they are, the more effective they're going to be. So you've got to make sure that you're sourcing your supplements from a reputable company. You can't go out there and just start buying supplements from random different places where no one's actually testing them. They're not checking to see if they're effective and they're, they don't have any athletes that might be in, on a drug tested list. So I would recommend finding the cleanest supplements that you can. I recommend head over to earthfedmuscle.com. You can get the absolute cleanest quality products there. All of the protein that we sell at Earth Fed Muscle is completely clean. It's got just whey protein from grass fed animals. And then we like to utilize cocoa to flavor our chocolate. We use vanilla extract to flavor our vanilla. We use strawberry powder to flavor our strawberry. So it's very, very safe. Creatine that we sell at EarthFed is German-based creatine. There's no sand in it like the Chinese style of creatine that you might see. Now, one thing I will say, as far as caffeine is concerned, I recommend not utilizing caffeine till you're about 15 or 16 years old. A lot of kids that are in seventh or eighth grade don't even know how to push themselves. They don't even, they can't even acknowledge the difference between having caffeine and not having caffeine. So hold off on the caffeine, but by all means, I would recommend utilize protein after about a year, year and a half. And to a point, a lot of kids have very bad nutrition. So one of the first things that you can do if they have bad nutrition is instead of giving them a milkshake from McDonald's or instead of going to McDonald's, you just make your kid a cheeseburger, you have a salad, you have some potatoes on the side, and instead of a milkshake from McDonald's or Burger King, now you make a protein shake that tastes good. And that's the key concept here. You can utilize protein and milk together to really help your kid recover and help them learn what proper nutrition is like. And then finally, ideally, if you're just starting off, if you're a novice, you shouldn't need endurance aids or, or joint work like collagen until you're a little bit older. Once you get over the age of 18, 19, 20, now you can start to really play around with beta alanine. You can really start to play around with collagen and you can start to see and notice those differences. But it always comes back to how long have you been training? You know, what is your nutrition like? Do you, are you involved in a contact sport? Do you have any cognitive issues or cognitive problems that you need to work with? And then finally, make sure that you're sourcing the best possible supplements. I recommend earthfedmuscle.com. If you guys want more information about supplements and about nutrition, click on this card right here. Until next time, guys, peace.